Hi kids, let's look at our chart, okay? Let's do all of our special sounds. Let's do them all together, say them nice and loud. Feel free to wake up your neighbors or your mom by being nice and loud with Mrs. Paris. K in duck, E in me, O in go, I in fly, A in pray, St in stop, Pull in plane, fur in frog, tur in train, sh in ship, th in thick, v in this, bull in block, cool in clock, full in flake, gull in glue. This is the one we keep missing. A Y it says A in pray. A in pray. A Y is a special sound and we keep missing it. E in me we often miss. O and go and I and fly. These are these ones right here are the ones we miss the most. Make sure you remember these. Let's say the, these four. E in me, O and go, I and fly, A and pray. I also have a blue chart here. We're just going to do the first line. Here we go. Burr in bride, dur in drum, purr in prey, gur in grin, sn in smoke, sk in scat, sk in skate, sp in spade, cur in crab. We're going to do this line again. Burr in bride, dur in drum, purr in prey, gur in grin. Sn in smoke, sk in scat, sk in skate, sp in spade, cur in crab. We're going to look at these sounds right here today. Full in flake and gull in glue. And I have our cards for that. Full in, full ache, flake. Full in flake. And here's our words. Now, I think you just saw that in the corner of my phone there is a cup and in the cup under the cup is something I want to show you some things in there actually there's two some things in there this is Noah's favorite cup let's look at these words there are two vowels here a and e so if we we're gonna look at this we'd say FL is our special sound full because this A is here and this E is here, A will say its name. A. Full. A. M. E will say nothing. Full. A. M. Flame. Here's another word. Our special sound is full. And also, the special sound Y says I. Remember our special sound? I in fly. Here it is. Full. I. Full, I, fly. Here's another one with two vowels in it. Let's find our special sound first. Full, full. You have an OA here. The O is long, the A is silent. O says its name, A says nothing. And then we have the T sound. Full, O, T, full, O, T, float, like you're floating in the water. Here's another word, full, special sound, F-L. A says, A, ah, because it's all by itself. Happy, A, ah. full, A, P, full, A, P, flap, like a bird might flap its wings. Here's your special sound, F-L, again, full. U and E, there's two vowels. U says U, long sound. E says nothing. T says T. So, full, U, T, full, U, T, flute, the instrument you play. Full, A, G, full, ag, flag. Fling, Fly, float. 
flap, flute, flag. Flame, fly, float. Flap, flute, flag. Those are fun words to say. And our next one, the last one on our list, goal in glue. Goal in goal you. E says nothing. Goal ooh, clue. Goals are special sound. Goal A is by itself, so it's happy. It says ah. Goal ad. Glad. I am so glad you are with me right now. Goal. Two vowels. A says A. E says nothing. And you have Z. Goal. A. Z. Glaze. Glaze is the shiny surface on a cup or a plate or a piece of pottery. It's called glaze. Goal. One A, A, two S's, goal, ass, class. This Paris, one of my favorite things is colored glass. I love colored vases. I love colored anything, just as long as it's a colored piece of glass. I love, 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 love colored glass. Goal, O, B. Because there's two vowels, E says nothing, so we can ignore it. Globe, globe. We look at the globe so that we can see different places that we like to be. Goal, a, n, Glen, Glen, Glen. Somebody can be named Glen. That's why there's a capital G here. When you see a capital G. That usually means it's someone's name or a place. Goal. I. D. No E sound. Goal. I. D. Glide. You see a duck glide on the top of the water because it's just so beautifully going across the water. It's gliding. Glide. So let's read these words. Glad. Glaze. Glass. Globe. Glen. Glide, glad, glaze, glass, globe, glen, glide. All right, let's mark some special sounds. Now, when we mark our words, we always mark our special sounds first, okay, and then the vowel. Special sounds first and then the vowel, okay? So here we have the cool sound, remember? Cool in clock. So we're going to circle the CL. Cool. Then you have an A, no other vowels, so it's happy. Cool. A. P. Clap. That's how you mark this word. You're going to be marking lots of words for many, 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 many more papers. You'll also be doing this in first grade and probably in second grade too. What's your special sound here? Full. You have an O and an A. Two vowels means the first one's long. The second one's silent. When it's long, it means it says its name. So now this says O, and you have your T sound. Full, O, T, float. Here we have a TH. Remember? TH. And you have an I by itself, so it's happy. S, th, is, this. This pen marks red, this. Here you have goal. This is the sound we just talked about. Goal. You have two vowels, A and E. First one's long, second one's silent. So now A says A. And this says er. Goal, A, er. Glare. That's a bright light that shines off the glass. Glare. Bull. Remember bull? Bull in block. B-L. Bull in block. So we're going to circle bull. And we have two vowels, E and E. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Okay, the first one's long. So it says E. Second one's silent. 
bull, e, d, lead. Now, gur. This is one of the ones we talked about today, just briefly. Gur and grin. So we're going to circle gur. And we're going to look at the two e's. First one's long, second one's silent, and t, gur, eat, greet. When you greet someone, you say, hello. Sh in ship. I is long. E is silent. Sh I n shine. Tur. Tur. Is tur a special sound? Sure it is. Tur in train. Tur. A is long. E is silent. Tur a d trade. Now, grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen. Don't forget, there's something special in my cup, so stick with me. We're going to write some words. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. We might use some of our special sounds, so listen. Are you ready? Do you have your paper? you have your pen? Good. Let's see if we can spell some words. I know there's something you all like to do. And it's called sp I spy. Do you like to spy and play like you're a detective? Sometimes I call you my detectives, don't I? How do you spell the word spy? Spy. Sp sp sp. Hmm. Does sp sound like a special sound? Yes, it is. It's right here. Sp in spade. Sp sp. S. P. S. P. Now, how do we put an I on the end? Well, we could put just an I, but then it would say sp it, spit, and that just wouldn't be the word we're looking for. We're looking for the word spy. So, how do we make spy into spy? Right here. I in fly. What do you need? You need a Y. Right. Spy. I spy with my little eye. Thirteen little kindergarten children watching Miss Paris's video and writing their words, I hope. All right, the next one we're going to do is the word fry. Like French fry. Do you like a fry? Do you like French fries? Do you like ketchup on them? Yes, I like all sorts of things on my french fries, but let me see. How would we spell fry? Fur. 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 Fur in frog. Fur. Fur. F-R. Fur. Fur. I. Now remember, I said I could put an I on the end, but then that would say frith. We're not looking for the word fry. We need the word fry. Look, we use the same thing up here. I in fly. It's at the end of a word. We cannot put an I. It's not proper, so you have to put a Y. Fry. Spy. Fry. Let's do one more Y word, okay? Let's do the word try try to write the word try tur tur i that is two special sounds put, put together try tur tur in train tur let's write that down tur and what's saying that i sound at the end of the word well my goodness i hope you remember the i in fly why? Try. Spy, fry, try. Now, we've done three Y words, and I expect you probably did a super duper whooper snooper job. So let's try another word. Let's try something completely different. Let's try, let's try blue. That's a hard word to spell. We've been working on our color words, so let's try. Bull is the first sound you hear. Blue, bull, 
bowl, bowl, bowl in block. So what should you write first? That's right, B-L, bowl, ooh. Well, long U says ooh. So let's put a U there. But without, hold on, let's, let's sum this out. Bull, uh, blah. Is that what we're looking for? No, we need this to say bull, you, blue. So to make that U say it's long sound, we're going to add an E to the end. And that's going to make the word blue. Let's try the word red. Er, ed, red. Er, er, e, e, d, d, red. Did you do it? Good. I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to let you have a second to try to sound it out, okay? Let's do the word. Oh, I don't know. Let's do so. Like, so what? So. How do you spell so? Oh. Oh. Now this O is a special sound O. It's the O in go, which means you don't have to add any E on the end. This is a special O that goes on the end of words that says just O by itself. No other vowels needed. So. And one last fun one. Bike. Bike. B, B, B. I, I, I. Hold on. That says b ick bick. How do we make b ick spell b ike? Well, if you add a vowel to the end like e, now i says i and e doesn't say anything. B ike bike. A bike. Draw a bike for me right here. Big wheel. Big wheel. It adds dots in the middle. And since I just like this. Okay, I'm not really sure how to make a good bike, honestly. You need to have pedals of some sort, right? Okay, there's a bike of sorts. Don't judge my drawing. All right, did you draw a bike? Did you do your words? Are you set to see? Okay, well, I still have something under that cup, but I can't show you what it is. Oh, you might have seen something. Might have seen something. There's something under there until we're done with a book that I grabbed for us to read called A Place for Turtles. Now, I love turtles. In fact, if I see a turtle in the road at any time, I will stop and I will take it out of the road because I just don't think they need to be run over. And they're just super slow, so I hate for them to be run over and I'll pick them up and put them on the other side of the road or keep them for a few hours to look at them. A Place for Turtle, written by Melissa Stewart, illustrated by Higgins Bond. Turtles make our world a better place, but sometimes people might do things to make it hard for them to live and grow. Let me see if I put this up a little bit, if we can see the pictures a little better. Yes, I think we can. Come over here, little cup. If we work together to help these special creatures, there will always be a special place for turtles. Like all living things, turtles need a safe place to raise their young. Some turtles have trouble building nests when new plants spread into their habitat. Habitat is where they grow and live. When people find ways to control the plants, turtles can live and grow. Young turtles don't stand a chance when people add fish to lakes and ponds. 
when people collect newly hatched turtles and raise them in safe places, well, then maybe the turtles can live and grow. Adult turtles face many dangers too. A sea turtle can die if it gets trapped in a fishing net. When fishing crews use nets that have special escape hatches, well, turtles can live and grow. This is a loggerhead turtle. Did you know that sometimes plastic shopping bags might be left in the water and they can look a whole lot like a jellyfish? Plastic bag might be eaten by the turtle thinking it is a jellyfish and it could give them stomach problems. We need to keep the trash out of the water, don't we? Some turtles taste so delicious that people might eat them too. Many people might let their dogs run free when they go hiking in natural areas, but some dogs might accidentally injure one of the animals that live on their hike, like a turtle. This is a painted turtle. This is the kind I see most often around where we are. Some turtles have beautiful, colorful bodies, and people like to collect them as beautiful pets. Be careful when you play with turtles. Keep them in their habitat. Do you love finding turtles? Mm hmm. You still should keep your fingers away from their mouths, huh? Turtles have dark bodies and can move very slowly, and people driving cars may not see them until it's too late. But maybe, just maybe, you can be careful and help them grow. Turtles usually live in areas with low-lying shrubs, that means small plants. Look at this little guy. This is a desert tortoise. Hoo hoo. Look how big that guy is. This is called a Blanding's turtle. Wow. Other turtles like to live in marshes and ponds. People might create new wetlands for them to live in so turtles can live and grow longer. When too many turtles die, other living things may also have trouble surviving as well because other living things might survive on turtles. It is important to keep turtles in their places that they live the way they need it. Sometimes people might harm turtles, but sometimes people help turtles. Are you one of the people that's going to help the turtles? The end. Look at the inside of a turtle. That is pretty cool. That's the bones. It's a skeleton. Hoo hoo. The smallest turtle is only four inches long, but the biggest turtle can be six feet long and weigh as much as an elephant. Can you imagine a turtle that weighs as much as an elephant? Oh my goodness. Well, I bet you're wondering what's under my cup. Well, I think you'd like to see. Would you like to see? It's probably a horrible, terrible, awful monster. Ready to bite Miss Paris's fingers off. Do you think? Do you think? Oh, 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 don't. Keep it closed. Don't open it. Don't open it. <gasps> what is it? It is not horrible, awful, big monsters. 
It is, in truth, two tea tiny turtles made out of shells. Look at that. It's a turtle made out of a shell. It's even got little glasses on. <laughs> it's got a shell for a top, a shell for a tail, shell for feet, four shells for feet, and a shell for a head, and a wee little woven hat. And this little guy's got the same thing going on. A shell for the top, shell for the tail. Let's see if I can get closer for you. Shell for feet, shell for face. Oh, it's looking at you. Hi, guys. So glad to see you today. Aw, isn't he cute? If you're going to give him a name, what would you name him? Hmm? What would you name that little guy? I can't hear you. Be louder. Oh, that's a good name. How about this little guy? What would you name him? Mm -hmm. So you can give them both their names. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Aren't they cute? Aren't they fun? All right. We've had our turtle talk. We've seen some stuff about turtles, and we've read lots of words. So y'all have a good day, and thank you for watching my videos.